Each of us works at a separate job with a distinct pay schedule. A portion of us receive our pay on a monthly, weekly, bi-monthly, or more erratic basis. Whichever end of that spectrum you are on, there are a few things you have to do every time you get paid in order to achieve financial independence. Every dollar or your local currency that enters your bank account should have a plan. There should be a reason for every dollar. Your priorities may vary based on your current situation in life. You may be accumulating funds for a vehicle or home. Or perhaps you are setting up money for your child's education. Alternatively, perhaps you are not there yet and are saving money for your impending nuptials. The bottom line is that these 10 strategies can help you achieve the much desired financial freedom and better financial health, regardless of where you are in life at the moment. If you're ready to take control of your financial future and want practical tips to achieve financial freedom, make sure to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll be joining a community committed to financial well-being and receiving regular insights on managing your money wisely. Subscribe now and let's embark on this journey towards financial independence together. Pay off your credit cards in full. Credit card debt is a global problem that millions of people have to deal with. Easy credit and late payments can be quite alluring. They can also result in overspending and significant debt accumulation. It's imperative to develop the practice of paying off your credit card debt in full each month if you want to stay out of this trap. Carrying a balance that accrues interest is the consequence of not paying off the entire amount owed. The amount of debt accumulated grows exponentially as a result of this compound interest. Interest rates can be very high, so even a small amount might result in large interest charges, which will quickly cause the debt to grow. The following are some methods for handling credit card debt successfully. Establish a budget to gain insight into your spending habits. Keep track of your earnings and outlays. Find places where you can make savings, then set aside that money to pay off your debt. Set up automatic payments. To guarantee regular and on-time payments, automate your credit card payments. This removes the possibility of late fines and missed payments. Select the appropriate repayment strategy. Choose between the debt snowball and avalanche strategies. While the snowball method concentrates on smaller bills for fast wins and incentive, the debt avalanche prioritizes paying off debts with the highest interest rates. Keep an eye on your spending. Examine your credit card statements on a regular basis to find any unused charges. Keep tabs on your debt repayment progress and acknowledge your accomplishments along the way. Recall that discipline and dedication are necessary for paying off credit card debt. You can liberate yourself from the bonds of debt and attain financial stability by implementing these tactics and keeping a prudent financial attitude. Contribute to your savings account. A savings account is unnecessary. You should have enough money in that account to cover your expenses for three to six months in the event that your principal source of income were to disappear. Congratulations if you've already arrived. That is a significant step. Do not worry if you are not. You'll arrive there shortly. Decide how much you want to put away into your savings account each pay period. It could be a set monetary sum or a specific percentage. Whatever it is, put that money into your savings account first, then move on. This will be your safety net in case something catastrophic occurs and you lose your work. On this, you don't want to cut any corners. Automated investing in an index fund. Investing in stocks and allowing compound interest work its magic is one of the finest methods to increase your wealth over time. Time in the market is more important than timing it. It's a well-known save. Make it a practice to purchase index fund equities each time you receive your paycheck, regardless of the state of the market. We refer to this as dollar cost averaging or DCA. Select a few index funds based on your principles. Alternatively, you may simply put some money into a U.S. equivalent of investing in the market, such as VTI. Pre-tax stuff. 401k HSA. This might not apply to you if you are not in the U.S. You can make pre-tax contributions for retirement plans in several nations, including the United States. Put simply, this means that after contributing to your retirement account, the leftover amount is subject to taxes. You pay less in taxes as a result. It makes sense to use pre-tax earnings to contribute 3% to 5% or whatever amount suits you best to your retirement fund. Invest in yourself. Investing in yourself is the best method to increase your revenue. Acquire new abilities. Develop personally. Launch a secondary business. Launch a company. Learn something new. Pay attention to yourself. You will earn more in the future if you put more money into yourself. This is among your top investing options in my opinion. Enroll in the online course you have always desired. Go through the book you've been intending to read. 
simply grow and learn. It is not limited to knowledge or business-related topics. There may also be a connection to your health. Maintaining your physical well-being is among the most crucial things you can do. You have nothing at all if your health is poor. So go ahead and spend your money on anything you believe will improve your physical and emotional well-being. A gym membership, yoga class, personal trainer, organic vegetables, etc. Put some away for any big purchase. Any large purchase should always be saved for rather being made on the spur of the moment. Impulsive purchases will probably require you to transfer funds from your savings account to your checking account or, worse, sell some of your investments in order to pay for the item. That is never a wise decision. Rather, set aside a portion of each paycheck to put into a bucket or account that will only contain the funds required to make that purchase. By doing this, you can avoid squandering a significant portion of your income on one item at the expense of all the other essentials. Give some away. The answer to this will mostly rely on your financial circumstances. Avoid doing this if you don't have enough money saved for emergencies. After completing the aforementioned tasks and having an emergency fund, think about donating some money. You have the option of selecting a charity of your choosing, an organization, or research in an area of interest. For myself, I donate to a cancer patient care charity as well as a nonprofit that works to increase public awareness of climate change. It can be anything that matters to you. Giving money to friends and family who are less fortunate is another method to do this. It's really fulfilling in my opinion. Helping the world and other people is the best use of your money. Budget with the rest. What money you have left over at this stage can be used for rent, groceries, utilities, food, and other expenses. You are now fully aware of the amount of money you must spend. Launch your preferred app for budgeting and start working. Equal amounts of money should be allocated to various aspects of your life. After allocating funds for the requirements, choose where else you want to spend that specific week or month. Only keep what you need in checking account. The remainder should be kept entirely in your checking account. Simply save what is required. The issue is that you will be compelled to spend the money if you keep it completely in your checking account. You'll receive the mistaken impression that the money in that account should be spent simply because it exists. Because of this, it makes sense to stick to your monthly spending plan from the previous steps budget. Add a buffer after that to give yourself some leeway. Transfer the remaining funds to investments or savings accounts. Pay taxes as you go. The amount that is already deducted from your paycheck for taxes may vary depending on your work status. In that scenario, you can skip this section if you don't have any additional sources of money. Try paying your taxes gradually throughout the year though, if that isn't the case. By doing this, you will be able to avoid having to pay a large lump sum tax during tax season. It will also make your tax season far less stressful and easier on the wallet. And there you have it, financial freedom seekers. Taking control of your financial future is a journey and each paycheck is a stepping stone toward your goals. Remember, every dollar should have a purpose and with these 10 strategies, you can pave the way to a more secure and prosperous future regardless of your current life situation. Hit that subscribe button to join our community dedicated to financial well-being. By subscribing, you'll receive regular insights on managing your money wisely, practical tips, and updates on the path to financial freedom.